and one of the wheels fell off of the Chevy. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to leave for the wrecker games. I'm taking my off-road wrecker there. Then we also have two other buggies that we are taking out to Utah with us. We are hoping to get to play in Sand Hollow while we're there and maybe even make a stop at Moab on the way back. Coming out there with me is Aaron and Ron. There's Aaron right there. So both of these rigs are Ron's, but Aaron and Monty, who's with us, might be able to drive them. We've got Ron here. You've seen him, actually, and Aaron in a few of the Junkyard Digs videos that I was also in. We did the Cheap Truck Challenge together, and we also did the Grand Prix Grand Prix. Yeah. Did we do any other ones with them? I don't believe so. We were going to do another Cheap Truck Challenge, but it never happened. Yeah, I built a truck, and I never got to use it. Did you guys get a truck built, too? We had trucks, but I was going to reuse the Ranger I had. I uh, fixed it. Okay. And I bought an international to do it with, and we just never did it. So <laughs> we'd yeah. like to do it again. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll have to do it on our own. Yeah. So, Ron, I got a little surprise for you. When you're not repping my channel, when we're just out off roading or doing other things, I designed you a cool logo and got you some stuff of your own. Some swag. Yeah. Some stuff with your own YouTube channel on it. There's some stickers in there, shirt and sweatshirt. Hope yeah. you like the logo. Yeah. Try to make it a little off-road Bronco there. Yeah, kind of a universal kind of a thing. Yeah. It's like, excellent, thank you, sir. You can stick your stickers on people's stuff. <laughs> you, you do have to sleep sometime. <laughs> We're at our first field stop somewhere at a Flying J west of Omaha in Nebraska. We're now at our second fuel stop. This is a fifth Phillips 66 in Hastings, Nebraska. So we'll be doing two or three fuel stops still without getting out of Nebraska. We're now at fuel stop number three, still in Nebraska, someplace called Fat Dogs. We'll be getting out of Nebraska soon. All right, what is this? Fuel stop number four. We're in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We finally made it out of Nebraska. Here at the pilot station. Got a nice square body Chevy there. It's about 1 a.m. right now. We're in Montana and one of the wheels fell off of the Chevy. Just a spark show going down the interstate. We don't know where the wheel is right now, so I think we're gonna walk down the interstate, see if we can locate it. The truck did make some pretty big grooves in the asphalt, so we will at least be able to see where it started. But we're probably not going anywhere for a while. So it's a good thing that we set off early and gave ourselves some time. While well, we're here searching down the interstate, the trucks are way up there now. Haven't seen any sign of anything. If we look at this a little more, you can see it was riding on the rotor. It doesn't look totally trashed. It's not flattened or anything, but all the studs are gone. Good news, I think Ron found the wheel. Looks like he's rolling it back up here. It was on the other side of the interstate, had bounced over the median. I suggested that we take the studs, half of them out of one side, stick them on the other side. And that'll at least get us down the road to some place where we can repair it. So you can see it's about 2.17 in the morning right now. We need to drive about 25 miles. There's an O'Reilly's, a Napa, and an Advance all in one spot here. We're gonna go there now, camp out until they open at about 6.30. It's 7.30 in the morning the next day. We are at an O'Reilly's auto parts store. Let's get and see what we can find to make that roadside repair, get the other truck on the way.
Here we go, after seven hours, I'm finally back. I didn't get that on video, but I was able to use the high lift jack to pop the hub off. We couldn't get it with hammers and pry bars. Wheel is finally back near the truck. Truck's a lot taller now than when we disconnected the trailer. So we're gonna have to raise it up quite a bit. We're about to get over the hill into Salt Lake City. We stopped at a little overlook just to check the loads, check the trucks, check the torques on the wheels. Pretty soon we'll be on Highway 15 headed south towards Hurricane. I didn't mention it, but at one point my magnetic lights did fall off. They just came loose and were swinging by the wires. This one actually magnetized itself on just like that. So I did that to the other side as well. And they have stayed that way for hundreds of miles now. You can see the other one over there. So I'm glad that I made those magnetic. Now they're out of the wind, they won't get damaged. And when I get to where I'm going, I can just flip them back up. Well, we just got to our hotel for the night and look at this trail mater is also here so they have looks like two rigs two wreckers so it looks like we're in good company right now i'm sure everyone recognizes this wrecker from the internet they have their new square body that they've been building and it looks like they have two jeeps and a buggy it's the next morning now. Today is the day of the off-road games setup. We also have tech inspection for the wreckers. So we're gonna get everything packed up, go do our setup for the off-road games, and then we'll meet up with everyone at wrecker inspection. Here at the location of the off-road games right now, there's worry. Laura Farm setting up. We're just getting ready to unload our stuff. Not a lot of people are here yet. Murphy's Diesel just arrived with Hellboy. Makes my truck look tiny. inspection hellboy was behind me but looks like he must have had a problem and had to drop back but I only have a few minutes to get over to the tech inspection so I'll have to do that first it's crazy to think that I'm driving my wrecker a world away from Iowa This is the wrecker tech inspection. We're finally seeing all the wreckers for the first time. I don't know who a lot of these people are, so I'm seeing these for the first time. Hellboy did make it. Just one of these, actually. The crazy Jeep 8x8. Eight eight. Three doors. 
You know, the problem with this one, I think it could get high centered extremely easy. I guess we'll see. Really, really like this truck. I think this is well done. Everything seems like it fits like it should. You can see this as a factory build. The wetter it gets, the more like asphalt it becomes. So if we're doing recoveries on asphalt, it's not quite as much fun. So the competition might change a little bit. It's going to change a lot from Thursday to Friday because it's raining on Friday. We're all in a parade right now. We're gonna parade from Holly's place down to Sand Hollow. Back at Sand Hollow now, but a storm has come through and it is horrible out here. You can see the water. This wind is just brutal. So I hope it's not going to be like this the rest of the weekend or this is not going to be any fun. I did have to put it in four wheel drive the minute I went off into the sand. Just started chugging along with my rear wheels. Definitely need four wheel drive if you're out there. But this is not pleasant right now. All the wreckers are coming in and lining up. I got mine staged. I've got my four-way tire inflator hooked up, going to deflate all the tires at once. So I just need to open the valves and I'll be able to tell what pressure it's at. Just let the air drain out when you want to check it, stop it again. Things are starting to fill in. It's going to be a completely different place tomorrow. Everything's getting set up, so if you're in Sand Hollow, stop by and check us out. 